Coming up this week, we're out showing you Stanage Edge. We'll be exploring this famous gritstone location, taking in the views from both above and below the ground. Let us be your guide as we show you around this popular Peak District destination. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we have come back out to the Peak District. It's our first proper big video of 2022. And we've come to another banger of a spot. This is Stanage Edge. So for our first official video of 2022, we've come to a big spot, a very popular spot here in the Peak District called Stanage Edge, which is a huge gritstone edge, which is about four miles end to end, super popular destination in the Peak District. And in today's video, we're gonna show you why. What's going off here? Play in. What are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing there? So we were actually quite tactical about picking Stanage Edge uh, for today's video. Um, ever since that we came back from our charity hike from Matlock all the way up to Castleton, my left knee has been completely busted. <laughs> um, so it is on the mend very slowly, but my mobility at the moment is a little bit reduced. Um, if you also have slightly reduced mobility, maybe you've got an injury, maybe you just can't get about as much, Stanage Edge is actually a really good option, uh, especially if you can get parked in Hook's Car Car Park, which is literally right at the very bottom of the edge. Um, you've only got sort of like a 10 or 15 minute walk up to the top. And once you get up to the top of Stanage Edge, it's actually really quite flat. So it should be easy going and you still get cracking views. So something to take note, if you are gonna come and visit Stanage Edge, we'd recommend getting up earlier than we did. <laughs> we always say we're gonna get out nice and early and we did not. Uh, it's about half 10, 11 o'clock and most of the car parks are already full on a Sunday morning. So if you're gonna get out, get out earlier than us. What? What's the plan, missus? Uh, getting up. We're going up? Yeah. <laughs> we're going up. <laughs>
So on a slightly clearer day, uh, you can expect pretty decent views out towards sort of Hope Valley Way. I believe you can see Mamtor uh, as far as Kinder Scout. Then sort of back the other way, you can also see, I think over sort of towards Kerber Edge, Frogger Edge. Uh, and we're not too far from Padley Gorge up here as well. So a couple of other spots for your Peak District checklist. Now we are heading up to Robin Hood's cave and we've got Raisin taking the lead because he's the leader of the pack apparently. how Stanage Edge is one of the most popular spots in the Peak District. Yeah, and there's a good reason why. Um, this area was once used for the filming of uh, the film Pride and Prejudice, and Kira Knightley once stood on some of the rocks out here, looking out over the view towards Hope Valley. We're definitely doing a lot of uh, crowd dodging today. Um, although the weather isn't fantastic, it's sort of fairly cold, a bit windy, very peak districty. Um, there's still a lot of people out and about. We saw other dog walkers, rock climbers, and boulderers. People out on mountain bikes, people out on motorbikes, and even people out enjoying paragliding. <laughs> right, it's coffee break time. Uh, we are going to sit on Stanage Edge and have a cheeky coffee. Uh, and we found Robin Hood's cave, so after we've had a coffee and warmed up a little bit. I'm going to give you the full tour. We sat and chilled out for 10 minutes, watching the people pass by and the mist slowly rolling in. But the best thing was watching the paragliders floating past just meters above our heads. At this moment, no one can tell where we should go. <laughs> Definitely want to go with that. So 
we just bumped into what we assume was one of our subscribers um, and he said hello to us. We didn't quite catch his name, but uh, thanks yeah. for saying hello. Yeah, if you're watching, hello. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys are out in the Peak District and you spot us, come and say hello, we don't bite. Um, we are starting slowly uh, to see people that recognize us, which is a bit weird, uh, but it's also quite cool. Um, but if you guys have been enjoying the video so far, uh, don't forget, give us a big like on the video, really helps out, helps the channel grow. Uh, and if you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, Help you are, us grow. Yeah, more than welcome. Join our little growing gang <laughs> of uh, Peak District Explorers. So, yeah. So this is the balcony cave here on Stanage Edge and um, apparently Robin Hood himself stayed here. Um, I think Robin Hood's cave is either below this or just next to it, I'm not sure how accessible it is, but you can, with a tight squeeze, get to this balcony uh, and there's a pretty cool view. So that was inside Robin Hood's cave, or, or at least the cave that you can get to here at Stanage Edge. Now you'll have to let me know down in the comments if we got that right, because I think Robin Hood's cave might be just next to where we just went. Um, it was a proper challenge to film. Um, it seems every man and his dog was trying to visit that cave today. Um, so we filmed it as best we could, but we absolutely did not have it to ourselves. Um, which you guys know, we like to do that where we can, just to showcase these places. Um, this vlog is not over yet. We're now gonna head out across the moors a little bit, because there's another feature of Stanage Edge that we're gonna show you. Okay, so we are now heading away from the edge and we're heading out and into the moors um, because there's something called Stanage Pole um, which until last night when I was doing my research for this video <laughs> didn't know uh, was a thing. Um, so we're going to have a hike out into the moors and show you that. Um, when you are out here you can see there's quite a lot of wildlife in and around the moors there's a lot of sheep kicking about. We keep hearing those. We've seen a couple of, of grouses. Things. Yeah, I think they're red grouse. <clears throat> keep seeing a lot of red grouse sort of cackling and jumping. Calling out to each other. So if you're into sort of like wildlife or bird watching, 
Uh, this could be another great option for you. Oh, we've also seen a buzzard as well. Well, I'm assuming it was like a buzzard. Yeah, there's a lot of birds of prey around here as well. Um, I've not got the long lens on today, so I'm not sure how they're going to come out. <laughs> How's it go? <laughs> Hey, it was just doing her impression of a, uh, a red grouse, which goes like this. No. <laughs> you do it. It was like. Ah, ah. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at Stanage Pole. Stanage Pole, it's a big pole in the middle of the moors. Um, this pole marks the boundary between Derbyshire and South Yorkshire. Um, which again, I didn't know was a thing, didn't know it was here. Didn't know the boundary was this close. Uh, we are up north, we are in the Dark Peak. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool. Uh, a lot of people seem to just sort of hike out to it. It seems to be a bit of a hiking destination. Yeah. Um, it used to be a lot higher, um, but I think the top sort of rotted off it, so they've chopped it off a bit to keep it safe. Um, so yeah, something extra spe- well, something that you can come and check out when you come to Stanley Judge. Guys, that is the end of today's video. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed. Uh, what we could show you of Stanage Edge, uh, it was a bit of a challenge filming today. Um, we got out a little bit late and it was quite a bit busier than we thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd say we'd probably consider coming back again, but just maybe midweek or, you know, just come a bit earlier than what we did. Yeah. Um, I really was not anticipating this many people being out and about. It was there was definitely a lot more people than we've encountered out in the Peak District. So I think we've just been lucky, haven't we? Yeah. We, we always try to sort of lead on that we're the only people out here, and um, that's the impression that we give. But today we were we were literally dodging the tourists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you want to see more content just like this from the Peak District in 2022, hit that subscribe button as well. And that way it's going to guarantee that you see us in the next video. Until then, see you. <laughs> when I use my witchcraft, you're playing it cool, bending all the rules, talking way too loud. Talking room.